Hey everyone, I'm Dave, joined by Will. I know you've been curious about the new Battlefield stuff. I have, yeah. Luckily for you, I uh, on Wednesday I was behind closed doors at the reveal, and there was there was a load of information that they didn't share in the worldwide reveal stream, which was baffling. But now you've got your good pal Dave to come and deliver all that information to you. Lucky and me for the people at home. So the first thing that I wanted to get wanted to touch on is. A lot of people were saying that they don't look like soldiers. That's because customization is a huge thing in the game now. Yeah, that's a huge part of it now, right? Yeah, you, you, you can create a soldier and you can create a company and that company can have its own weapons, have its own vehicles, have its own um, combatants. So you can completely customize the way your um, character looks and that will carry through, through the game and other people will see that. The weapons that you have can all be customized as well. And for the most part, the customizations are just cosmetic. And then that will carry on to the vehicles. The vehicles can have the skins that you like. They'll, um, they can be customized both in the way that they look and the way that they play. So you can, you can take your Tiger tank and um, give it extra armor, but then the armor will make it slower. Okay, cool. But then you could take another Tiger tank and give it better engines. You can really make things play the way you want them to play in, which I think is a really good direction beyond just like red dot attachments. So do you have to buy those or how do you get them? So one thing that I was like, this is really cool, but is it too good to be true? They mm. said that there's no premium pass. Um, Not at all? No, no premium pass. You won't pay for like any new maps, nothing. The only thing you pay for is cosmetics. And they said further down the line, there'll be like a catch-up mechanic. So the minute it's just the cosmetics, but they can also be earned anyway. Um, the way that they're introducing new content now is their Tides of War. It's their live service, they're calling it. That features new maps, new modes, new weapons, the lot. But one thing that I found really interesting is because there's a, there's, there's a new emphasis on squad mechanics, which we'll touch on in a little while, but because of that, that's influenced the way that they're delivering this content. Um, like I was saying to you, imagine if we were playing and I bought the new expansion pack and wanted to play with you, but you, you had enough money to buy the expansion pack, my squad would be split. Yeah. Now, because they want to keep the squad together, they're not charging you for expansions. Oh, that's awesome. So, so you anytime, don't miss out? No, anytime anything comes out, we can, we can just play together. And I was like, I, I heard that and I was like, yeah, but what's the catch? <laughs> and they're like, no, no catch. So they're going after games like Overwatch, where you get all the maps for free, but if it's like cosmetic, you might want to spend a bit of money on yeah, something. Yeah, which is, I mean, everyone's, everyone knows what EA did with Battlefront. Yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, even previously in Battlefield games, they had expansion packs. Everyone was a bit like, really? So this is a, a fan pleaser. People are going to love this. Yeah, like, I definitely hope so. If they implement it well, and it's fair, like, Great, and there's so many things to customize, like I was just saying, that they're gonna probably make their dollar back and keep their game supported just through people buying cool skins. And honestly, I'm the type of, type of guy that if you're respecting me as a player and respecting my time and my money and giving me content, then I will support you. And speaking of looking good, um, players are actually gonna be able to influence the way the battlefield looks and plays now. They've, oh, how so? They've introduced a fortification system now, in Battlefield 1, everyone had a gas mask. Yeah. In Battlefield 5, everyone has a fortification tool. And with this tool, you can build things like sandbags, barbed wire, dragon's teeth. Um, those are the big concrete things that stop tanks. Oh, cool. Um, the engineer, however, will have more things to build, more options to build, and they will build them faster. He's more efficient with it. But the idea is, is that you can attack an objective, like attack a flag in Conquest, take it with your squad and then it's built so that if you're playing well with your squad, you'll have time to fortify this area before the counterattack. You can start throwing up sandbags, the engineer can build a machine gun placement, um, you can dig a trench and then all of a sudden you've got this, this fortress that you can hold from the counterattack and that works as well with, with buildings. If you shell a building and its walls are blowing out and its windows are being destroyed and it's got no roof left, you can take that building, start chucking up sandbags, chuck a machine gun emplacement, make a make like a murder hole for your machine gunner to sit, and then that's your strong point. And I think that's gonna add so much to like the, the tactical thought of, of Battlefield. Stationary weapons like flat cannons and AA 
you can just hook them to the back of a half track and drive them to places <laughs> now. One thing that I didn't expect them to do is, you know, if, I, if I'm in a Sherman tank, I'm driving away, um, I can attach like a flak 88 anti-aircraft gun to the back of it and you can sit in it while I'm driving. <laughs> so like all the planes that were murder tanks, you can I can just be towing you about, oh, that sounds shooting awesome. them out of the sky. And I, that's like one of the things that I'm so excited to play with and see how the community reacts with, because it's just gonna, all, all the flags that you used to hate defending in previous games, or that were ones that were always contested, if you work well with your squad, you can just completely just just create this, like I said, fortress. And if you're adept at it, it's just gonna be like, just, enemies are just gonna be thrown at you. <laughs> it's gonna be so cool to build your little defenses. So you mentioned attrition, so what's that? Yeah, that's like, it's a, it's a new feature in Battlefield now. The idea is that um, the term that was used was that you spawn capable, but you're not gonna have everything you need. So when you spawn into the battlefield, you might have a few magazines or one grenade. You won't have, it won't be like previous battlefields where you can just self-sustain for a long time. Um, things like your health won't auto-regen to 100 anymore. If you're wounded, then, and then you take cover, you'll regen a little bit, but the only way to regenerate your health would be to get a medic or to, to get a resupply station. The whole fully stocked thing is meant to kind of turn it on its head, the whole spawn, like throw yourself an objective, die, not really be punished for it, and then just get back into the fight. I can see that encouraging people to, instead of just jumping in and being a lone wolf, actually thinking about how can I work with my team and how can I contribute to this battle rather than just playing for themselves. Yeah, if you you will get spawned into a team by default now. There's the, 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 there's that hasn't been this much emphasis on squad play in a long time. And That's I'm, cool. I'm really excited about that. If you're the squad leader, they're now more valuable because they can call in um, like reinforcements, I think they were called. Basically, if the squad leader earns enough points by giving objectives, sticking with their team, getting kills, um, giving orders, then they'll they'll earn these points. They can call in things like a, a V1 rocket, like um, smoke barrages, um, unique squad vehicles, like um, it was like the Churchill crocodile flamethrower tank. <laughs> Sounds amazing. So all your all your all your squad can just pile into this tank, and then you, you uh, which is then customized because it's part of your company. So it's got your like squad livel, uh, livery on it. It's got your squad ornaments on it. Start going into trenches with this massive flamethrower tank with the the emphasis on squad play. Things like revive trains have gone. Um, so you know, in Battlefield, if you were a medic, you could just rub your defibs together and just shock the air right, around right. someone. Everything now has a physical animation or requires physical interaction. So when you pick up a med kit, you have to push a button, get the med kit. If you want to pick up ammo, you push a button, get the ammo. If you're a medic, you you if you need if you want to save someone, you start this animation. Um, which, and, and if I was picking you up on the battlefield, I would see how your character was customized. You would see me as my medic. I'd have to start this animation instead of just syringing the air, get you, get you back up and get you back on the field. Um, you can also drag your squad mates now. So if you're a medic and, and people are shooting down an alleyway, I was like, yeah, I might be able to save you, but there's bullets coming at me. <laughs> so I grab them and just pull them into cover. So when they're safe, you can then, you know, apply first aid. But Another really interesting thing, there's so much in this battlefield, I'm so excited about it, damn. Um, four men squads, they, they'll be able to revive each other, there's a thing called a buddy revive. Right. They take way longer and they don't recover you to full health, so the medics are still hugely important. But if, if I was a support player and you're a sniper, or if I was a support player and you're a medic, and I'm the last guy, it could be really important for me to use the buddy revive, which is slower, to get you back on your feet because you're the medic, but then when you're back on your feet, you can help me get everyone else back to full health. I see, right. And it's, it's another way that makes it more important to wipe squads, but it also emphasizes the medic role, it, it, it emphasizes the reason to stick with your team, to stay as that cohesive unit, because even if, you, if you're not a medic, you can still help each other out. So it sounds like there's a lot more to think about in terms of your role in that squad and also the risks of your actions. Like, yeah. do you heal someone or do you just leave them to die because it's better off for the team? Yeah. Um, but again, with the immersion, um, spotting is different, like way different. Um, what spotting? So you know how uh, in previous Battlefield games you'd like on keyboard, I think it's Q that you hit. Um, can't remember what it is on, on console. But if you're aiming at someone, 
it puts an icon above the head and shows them on the minimap, and then your team can see them. Oh, right, okay, and yeah. And that, in Battlefield 1 especially, people would just like lean out of cover, tap, um, spot, blow up their, their HUD with icons, and shoot at the icons. They were calling them Doritos, because <laughs> they are little, little red triangles. Um, and they just start shooting at those, and people who were using mortars would just wait for an area to just fill up with, with red dots and just I start see, shelling okay. those. Um, they haven't said how spotting is going to work now, but they're saying, they said they want people to stop staring at their, at their HUD, at their UI, and start looking at the world. Um, so they haven't said how spotting is going to work exactly, but there's things like if, um, if someone's running through grass, or crawling through grass, or moving through shrubbery, that moves around them now, and you'll mm. be able to see that. So if I'm a sniper, or a machine gunner, and I start seeing like these reeds moving, and I just be like, <laughs> and start mowing it down. So you, you need to look at the world more. You need to take it in instead of just being like looking for dots or staring at your HUD, um, which obviously plays a lot into the immersion. And Battlefield has always done a great job at immersion, but it's it looks like they're completely dialing that up now. That's cool. There's nothing sadder than them making this incredible world and then you're only looking at the icons on top of it. Like it's good to know that you're gonna be able to appreciate the world a bit more. Yeah. It's um, I'm 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 crazy excited. Like I'd love to just keep gushing over like all the stuff I'm excited for, but um, I know um, the American team have gone into like a huge amount of detail when it comes to that. So if you want more detail, despite me waffling on, um, then go check that video out. But I've not been ex this excited about a Battlefield game in years, dude. Like, I'm excited as well. Like it looks really good, and I'm, I'm not I'm normally a Battlefield guy. So hyped for it. I'm gonna. Get my squad together with a load of badass ladies, get some cricket bats and start caving some heads in. Can I, can I be on your squad? Sick. If you get good, yeah. Okay, I'll do my best. Anyway, we're going to be <laughs> checking out um, more Battlefield 5 at EA Play. So if you want to hear more details about Battlefield after we've had some hands on, make sure you subscribe. Like the video if you enjoyed. You can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Regular Dave. I'm the Quiff is Dead. And if you've got any thoughts you want to share, make sure to leave them in the comments section below. Until next time, thank you for watching, and I'll see you.